Welcome to this tutorial on using the UML modeling software Modelio. In this guide, we will explore the basic features of Modelio and show you how to create UML diagrams to visually represent your software design models. Follow the steps below to get started. Step 1. Installing Modelio. Visit the official Modelio website and download the latest version of the software. Once the download is complete, run the installation file and follow the on-screen instructions to install Modelio on your system. Step 2. Creating a Project Launch Modelio after installation and select New Project from the File menu. Give your project a name and specify the location where you want to save the project files. Select the type of model you want to create, for example UML, and click Next. Choose the project configuration options according to your needs and click Finish to create the project. Step 3. Creating UML Diagrams. In the Project Navigation pane, right-click on the Project folder and select New Diagram from the Context menu. Choose the type of UML diagram you want to create, such as Class Diagram, Sequence Diagram, or State Transition Diagram. Once the diagram type is selected, give it a name and click OK to open the Diagram Editor. Step 4. Adding Elements to the Diagram Use the tools from the toolbar to add elements to the diagram, such as classes, relationships, actors, messages, etc. Click and drag elements from the tool palette to the diagram to position them. Double-click on the elements to edit them and add additional details, such as attributes and operations of a class. In this example, we have two classes, student, course, and their relationships. The student class represents a student with attributes such as ID, name, and age. The Course class represents a course with attributes such as code, title, and credits. The diagram also shows the methods available for each class. For example, the student class exposes methods such as getted, get student ID, get name, get student name, and enroll course, course, enroll in a course.
The course class exposes methods such as get code, get course code, get title, get course title, and add student, 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 add student to course. In addition, there is a relationship between the two classes. A student can enroll in several courses, and a course can have several students enrolled. This is represented by the methods enroll, course, course, in the student class, and add student, 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 and remove student, 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 in the course class. Let's move on to the object diagram. We have two students, John and Adam, both 24 years old, taking IT UML courses together and two other courses separately.
Thank you for watching my tutorial. Please subscribe for more videos.